Hi guys, welcome to Mr. How Biology. Today it's all about GCSE cell structure. We're going to look at animal, plant and bacterial cells and compare them in terms of their structure and function. Then afterwards, we're going to compare prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells more generally to look at how you can get the most marks possible in the exam. So stay tuned guys, let's do this. See science, biology revision, cells. Well, what are cells first of all? Well, cells are the basic building blocks of all life. We're made up of around 10 to 100 trillion cells. All living things, everything on earth is made up of cells. And eukaryotic cells include plant and animal cells. And you need to know about both types for GCSE science. Now, prokaryotic cells include bacteria, and I'm going to cover more on that later in the video. We've got to cover how plant cells are different to animal cells. Now, remember, they're both eukaryotic cells. Well, if we look at the organelles they've both got in common, which is the first few rows here, they both have a nucleus, which is the organelle that contains the genetic material in a cell. They both have cell membranes, which surrounds the cell and controls what enters and leaves the cell. And you can see in my diagram at the bottom, We've got the cell membrane around the outside of the cell, and then we've got the nucleus inside it. Now, the cytoplasm is the gel-like substance containing enzymes where chemical reactions take place. And again, we can see in both diagrams at the bottom, they've both got cytoplasm. Next of all, we have ribosomes, and ribosomes produce proteins. And the ribosomes, they're quite a small organelle, so they're tiny. Now, organelle, think of it as like a little organ. It's a small part within a cell. Finally. They both have mitochondria, so both animal cells and plant cells have mitochondria, and this is the site of aerobic respiration. Plant cells actually have a few key features that animal cells don't. You need to learn for your GCSE science exams. Well, first of all, plant cells have a cell wall, and that supports the cell and gives it structure, and it's made of cellulose. Next of all, plant cells have chloroplasts, which are packed with chlorophyll, and they're the site of photosynthesis, how plants use light to make sugars. And finally, plant cells have a permanent vacuole, which stores the cell sap. And we can see in the bottom right, we've got the green chloroplasts, we've got the box-like cell wall around the outside of it, and we've got the permanent vacuole there. So, how are bacterial cells different to plant and animal cells? Well, bacterial cells they don't have a nucleus around their genetic material or a nuclear membrane around their genetic material. Their genetic material just floats freely and they're smaller and more simple than eukaryotic cells. So bacteria are what we call prokaryotes and they do not have membrane bound organelles. Next of all, they have free floating circular DNA instead of a nucleus. And we can see that here in red. Now, finally, Bacteria have plasmids, which give antibiotic resistance. And the plasmid is a, a loop of DNA, a small loop of DNA within the bacteria. So let's go through a summary. So prokaryotes, I always tell my students, pro, no. So prokaryotes have no nucleus. You do. Eukaryotes do have a nucleus. And eukaryotes are larger and more complex than prokaryotes. So use that tip to help you get the top marks in your exam. Now, eukaryotes include plant and animal cells, whilst prokaryotes just include bacteria. So that's everything for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you for more GCSE Science.